It's sometimes hard to imagine a world without post-its or common cures to now obsolete diseases. The idea that everyone benefits from a good invention is at the heart of patent law. In the 1987 case of Griffith v. Canamaro, we examine the balance of this public policy interest with the interest of rewarding inventors. Owen Griffith was a biochemistry professor at Cornell Medical College. In 1981, he established the concept of an aminocarnitine compound useful for the treatment of diabetes. Another inventor, Sunio Kanemaru, reduced this same concept to practice in 1982 and filed a patent. Griffith had not yet reduced the invention to practice. Griffith's delay in reducing the invention to practice was in part due to Cornell's policy of requiring outside funding for such projects. It was also because Griffith had promised a future Cornell student that she could assist with the project. Griffith waited for this specific student to enroll. He also expended minimal effort toward securing funding and often put the aminocarnitine project aside to work on other projects. Griffith ultimately reduced the concept to practice in 1984. Griffith claimed he was entitled to priority against Kanemaru's patent filing date. Griffith filed an action with the Board of Patent Appeals and Interferences. The board determined that he failed to establish a case for priority regarding the patent. Griffith appealed to the Federal Circuit. In 